What's up? I'm Mike with woodshopmike.com and today I'm going to show you how to build this organization cabinet for your shop. As you'll see on the bottom, there's room to store up to seven different drills. I've got a great space here for my Craig Jig K5, battery chargers on the side, and inside the cabinet I have French cleats. Now this is a great solution for all your modular storage needs. I've got my batteries in there, drill bits, and additional jigs. So, let's get to the build. To kick things off, I head over to the table saw and break down the plywood. To make the French cleats, I first rip stock to 3 inches wide. Then I set the blade to 45 degrees and rip the 3 inch wide pieces in half. Over at the miter saw, I cut the sides, top, bottom, and shelves to their final length. With all the parts for the cabinet cut, it's time to start drilling pocket holes. My Craig Jig K5 makes pretty quick work of this. To make the drill holder, I first lay out the pattern. Now, don't be like me and drill all the way through the plywood here because the little puck that gets stuck inside the hole saw is a royal pain to get out. Instead, drill almost all the way through and then flip the board over and cut just about an eighth of an inch deep, turn off the drill, and remove the puck. Now I'll draw lines from the edge of the circles to follow on the band saw. Here I just take my time and cut to those lines as accurately as possible and I sand the inside of the slots to clean things up just a little bit. Now I break out my correct bench dog clamps to hold the piece still, and then I'll run a chamfer on the inside of each slot. This helps the drills to just sit in those slots a little bit nicer. This step is optional, but it really improves the look of the cabinet. I use an old iron to apply the edge banding material. Then I grab an edge banding trimmer and remove the excess. A sharp chisel cleans up the ends nicely, and now I'll hit the panel with 220 grit just to knock down all the fuzz. To assemble the cabinet, I set the back and sides in clamps. Now I flip the entire assembly up on end and secure the parts with coarse one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Next I install the shelves, the bottom, and the top all in the same manner. Now I drill for the cabinet hardware with my concealed hinge jig by Craig. This jig makes locating these hinges so quick and easy. With that done, I'm ready to install the hinges. I went with soft close hardware for these doors since I'll have tools mounted to the inside of the door.
Now I'll mark out for the mounting plates, and I'll secure them in place with the screws that came with the hinges. Now I enlist the help of Mrs. Woodshop Mike to mount the cabinet on the wall. We ran four three-inch screws into studs to hold this cabinet, and that baby impact driver sure came in handy. Remember those French cleats we cut from earlier? Now it's time to install them. Now, this would have been a lot easier to do before hanging the cabinet on the wall, but oh well. I run a bead of glue along the back of each cleat. Then I shoot a handful of brads into each cleat to hold it in place while the glue dries. Now I'm a little ashamed to show you this, but here's my previous drill bit organization. It's just pitiful. These tool holders are really simple to make. I just lay out what items I want in each block and then drill out some holes on the drill press. With a little glue on a small section of cleat and a few nails to hold things in place, this drill holder is done. All right, y'all, so this is the best part. Everything has a place in the cabinet now, and things are easy to get to. My K5 even has a dedicated spot, and all of my drills are nicely organized, too. All right, well, that's going to wrap us up for the day. A special thank you goes to Craig Jig for sponsoring this project, and I hope it's inspired you to build one for your shop. Ah, you're still there. Awesome. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I got another one queued up for you right here. And if you want other awesome content from me, check out those. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like and subscribe. And until next time, have fun making something.